It's time to check your money with America's Money Maven, Vicki Brackens. Vicki Brackens is the president of Brackens Financial Solutions Network, LLC, and a registered representative of LPL Financial, member SIPC. Vicki, top of the day to you. How are you doing today? <laughs> You get me with something new every week, George. <laughs> every week you try and throw something new at me. Okay. I'm doing just fine, Tally Ho. What else okay. would you like to say? <laughs> right? Like, where did you get that from? <laughs> where did you get that one from? Okay. But we're doing we're doing great, George. Okay. Really looking forward to the fact that, as you already know, it's February. It's Black History Month. We are getting ready for our 16th annual Black History Month. Jazz and Arts Cabaret. By the way, thank you to everyone. As you know from the announcement that went out this week, George, we are sold out again. Did it again. Okay. Mm. Uh, and so we're looking forward to not only a great time, a great performance, a great crowd, and to also our uh, Community Service Award winner, Miss uh, the uh, head of the New York State Senate, uh, Miss Andrea Stewart Cousins, who's going to be here to join us with, along with uh, many of the other uh, delegates from uh, New York State, to accept her award. So I, I'm, I'm just like bubbling. I'm, I'm good, George. How about you? I'm doing well. And you know, I had a question for you, Vicky, because we, uh, she's receiving uh, Representative uh, Stewart Cousins is receiving the Community Service Pioneer Award. And she's from, obviously from Buffalo. And I was like, oh, that's kind of interesting. And so I <laughs> wonder how we came to honoring Ms. Stewart Cousins uh, for our Community Service Pioneer this year. Well, I think she would probably say first that although she hails from Buffalo, she is the uh, state uh, Senate majority leader for the state of New York. State of New York. The state of New York, okay. And Syracuse is part of the state of New York. But what really thrills me is the fact that, um, think about it this way, George. All great things come from great relationships. Yeah. We need to make sure that we're developing relationships, not only just around us as far as our our, our friends and neighbors who may be right there in our backyard, but relationships across the state. Many of the things, you know, you know we've, we've got a great economic um, growth pattern that has been established and is growing for Syracuse, upstate New York, uh, and for the surrounding areas around many of the corporations and so forth that are moving, and many of the announcements that have been made by uh, the governor. But many of the announcements who have made, been made by the governor are proposals, mm -hmm. proposals that have to be passed through the legislative process. Come on. I think, Biggie's opinion, I think it makes a lot of sense to be sure that we're developing relationships with all of the players, all of the entities, all of the individuals who are responsible for passing that legislation. And there is no one who's going to be more integral to that than Andrea Stewart Cousins. So. Yeah, and we, look, I don't know how often she's been to Syracuse, but we need her to, to we need to show her around the block so she could know her way around the corner. <laughs> exactly. I like the way you said, show her around the block <laughs> so she knows what, what's going on and, and so that she can feel welcomed by yeah, and feel comfortable with the constituents and the citizens and everybody here. And when she comes and spends time with us on that Sunday, the Black History Month Jazz and Arts Cabaret, because you know what a good time we have. There is no way she's going to leave here not feeling warm and fuzzy about about all of the people here in, in the well, Syracuse area. So I, I don't know if people know this, Vicki, but we have a good time. At, <laughs> now, you know how serious Vicki is <laughs> on America's Money Maybe. You know how America's Money Maybe is to the point very serious. If y'all don't have tickets, you won't get to see the other side of Miss Vicki Brackens. <laughs> Vicki loves jazz and loves doing the work to make sure that our community has these sort of entertainment uh, options and she loves to have a good time. So the question that, that people who go to the uh, cabaret want to know, Vicky, is when you lead the conga line, 
Sure. Will Will Representative Cus Stewart Cousins be on the conga line? Oh well, now <laughs> I'm not gonna make that commitment. But we're gonna try, okay? <laughs> and and I hope no. her staff is listening right now, so she has on the right shoes. Okay, because you know so that listen. conga line goes for a long time. So yeah. listen, the fact that we even said that on America's Money Baby, people are like, okay, now <laughs> wait a minute, they talk about a conga line. What? What what is going on? What is there? going on there? <laughs> exactly. You just have to be there. So what I will say right now is remember, every year we have this concert. This is year 16. Mm. God willing, we will have year 17. It is always the last Sunday in February. You should probably reach out to us and put yourself on the waiting list for 2025. So that we know that you that you are pre-scheduled to be part of the event for next year. I'm telling everyone that, that to get on the list this year for next year, because we're doing something extra special next year. Can't give it all to you right now, George. Oh, you see. But you, you want to be let, there for 2025. And, 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 let me tell you. And when she said that she'd be in she ain't going to tell me nothing. No. Her, her partner <laughs> right here. She ain't going to tell me nothing. Co-host, they going to tell me nothing. Right, okay, because you know, I want to make sure I want to see your face. I want to get that full energy when when you hear about what what's happening for twenty twenty five. So yeah. let me go on and go go a little bit further though, because black this is Black History Month, the beginning of Black History Month, and there is an organization that I really want everyone who, in case you're not familiar with it, which is called ASALA, A S A L H, which is the Association for the Study of African American Life and History, and whose founder who is Carter G. Woodson, is known as the father of Black history. Uh, Carter G. Woodson was a scholar whose dedication to celebrating Black history and Black contributions uh, established what was called Black History Month. But first, it was Black History Week back right. in February of 1926. Well, 50 years later, it became Black History Month through legislation and actions by, of all people, Gerald Ford. 50 years later, but I have to give him kudos because he did sign the legislation to make sure that this took place. Well, there are a couple of names I wanted to also drop in. Um, and, and, yeah. And let me just add that Carter G. Woodson is a member of the Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated. I just wanted to make sure that that was very clearly <laughs> stated in your introduction and all the great things that he's done. I am done. so sorry. My forgiveness, please, for not including that at, at the appropriate time. Thank you for giving me that, giving me that, that extra information. But there was a couple of names, because, you know, uh, years ago when we first started America's Money, uh, America's Money Maven, and you reminded me of this, I used to highlight individuals in history uh, who were significant in the, in, in the African-American community for either business or finance or inventions or entrepreneurship. So I thought I'd go back to that process and emphasize and talk about two individuals today that are very influential uh, as far as in business and finance. And that were, uh, the first one is Maggie Lena Walker. That's M-A-G-G-I-E, Lena, last name Walker, was the first African-American woman to charter a U.S. bank. Mm. I think bank is good. Yeah. I think bank is really good, okay? And that was the St. Luke Penny Savings Bank, which was established <laughs> in 1903. The bank was um, was uh, there in her hometown of Richmond, Virginia. Uh, it was a source of economic growth and financial security for the community, for the black community, and served membership of more than 50,000 at its height, George, in mm. 1,500 local chapters. Okay. Uh, she was the first bank president. She served as chairman of the board when it merged with two other black-owned Richmond banks, the new Consolidated Bank and Trust Company, and continued to be run that way until uh, 2005. So for many, many years in which at that point in time it was sold. And then we have June Middleton, M-I-D-D-L-E-T-O-N. In 1964, June Middleton became the first female African-American New York Stock Exchange broker. It's really close to my heart here. She, was, she led the way to a small group of African-American women to enter the brokerage scene. Uh, she worked for a company called Hornblower and Weeks and reportedly, listen to this, 
learn to interpret the stock market tables while attending a Manhattan public school. The importance of teaching financial literacy in school is rears its head again. So I wanted to make sure that we highlighted those two individuals, George, that we spent some time really looking at the history of Black History Month. And I'm going to ask everyone, um, this is a plea today. Okay. Okay, because when I looked at some of the uh, findings concerning uh, Black History Month and, and people in finance uh, uh, in the African-American community, I started to think about something, and that was institutions. Mm. How important it is for us to establish institutions, because institutions carry a mission and a strategy beyond the individual, beyond ourselves. So it's a legacy process when we create institutions. The only way you can create in institutions, though, is to have infrastructure. And one of the key areas of infrastructure is the human capital. We're going back to old conversations here, George. Human capital. Human capital means people have to come into the industry and be trained and carry on the mission beyond that of the founding member. All right. Vicki Brackens is the founding member of Brackens Financial Solutions Network. This will never become an institution unless I bring on additional people who are going to go into this industry. I am imploring any person who, who would like to have a conversation about what it takes, educational-wise, training, experience, et cetera, to become a financial planner to please call me. You should know the number by now, but I'm going to give it to you again. Area code 315-930-4499 or reach out at info at brackensfsn.com. That's brackensfsn.com. I'd like to have a conversation with you. I'm looking for my phone to just blow up because for us to establish an institution here in the Syracuse local area, and by the way, I have offices in other areas. We'll talk about that more one, one day. But if you're looking at getting into or want to at least hear more about this career, I want to hear from you. All right, George, happy Black History Month. I'm ready to see, you know, you talked about me on the conga line. See, you <laughs> talk about yourself. <laughs> Y'all don't know about Mr. George Kilpatrick either. <laughs> so we are looking forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks there, okay, on February 25th. Please subscribe and share. Subscribe and share this podcast with everyone that you know. And I'll say tonight and, and for the future, our plate is full. All right. Vicki Brackens is the president of Brackens Financial Solutions Network, LLC, and a registered representative of LPL Financial, member SIPC. She is America's money maven.